What's going on Neon Nation? Today we have some quick lore on some of the mega corporations in the world of cyberpunk in the 2020s, this time on Infocomp. Infocomp is an American company which provides a massive library of scientific, technical, and personal data pertaining to anyone or any subject. They provide reliable, timely, and accurate information to its clients including intelligence, research portfolios, and carefully crafted and theorized projections. They're rumored to have the most complete compilation of information in existence and includes video footage, sound recordings, hard copy texts, CD-ROMs, data chips, magnetic media, photographs, and artwork all stored in Infocomp's vaults. All these different mediums have been digitized for the modern age, creating the largest single information database. It's also rumored that Infocomp's detectives are the most advanced in the world, priding themselves on their ability to compile information in a short period of time. Other mega corporations, despite having their own investigative department, still rely on the vital intelligence gathered by Infocomp. Corporate spies have a huge target on their backs and naturally only survive mere months in the field, but many of Infocomp's operatives have been in the field for almost 10 years. In addition to compiling new data to order, Infocomp also allows clients to access their existing data banks. This data is backed up in many locations but is stored mainly in the computer core at the main office. This information is highly secure due to how many places it's backed up in and just how many organizations actually rely on it. No one dares to touch it because it ends up fracturing their own intelligence and informational link. Most companies pay a huge monthly subscription in exchange for 24 hour, 7 day a week access. Infocomp is also involved in the publishing business, with resources like the Info at Hand Almanac and the Whole World Encyclopedia being their most popular contributions. They also publish a small amount of reference manuals and guides, many times more complete and concise than others within that field or niche. Few firms exist that can compete with Infocomp's size and sophistication, however the occasional street level information broker can sometimes undercut the firm. However, Infocomp does have a positive marketing strategy and tries to work with these freelance info bros whenever possible because they consider blood to be a big and unnecessary expense. When the Gang of Four which consists of the CIA, the FBI, the DEA and the NSA deteriorated, the US was forced to combine its intelligence services with the Beltway Bandits an infamous think tank service who had for years competed with the Gang of Four in data compilation, charging exorbitant fees. Radical changes in the world made the data compiled by the bandits obsolete, and the Beltway bandits were effectively out of a job. Robert D. Alvarez was one of the analysts out of a job, and as a result he moved out west. He began to formulate an idea for his own think tank corporation, and started small with a handful of dedicated employees. Before long, this new startup named Infocomp had regular clients and in 2006 absorbed Eagle Investigations and Ebon Tech Research to grow into an industry leader. Infocomp has the ability to find the most obscure pieces of data but also predicts upcoming events based on trends. Offices are protected by Lazarus trained and equipped security guards. They've also been rumored to maintain a number of intelligence gathering satellites. As always, thank you guys for watching this quick lore episode and for more cyberpunk, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.